Are you going to uh, make a bourbon and booze theme song? Bourbon and booze, bourbon and booze. That's what we like is bourbon and booze. That was lame. I was just put on the spot. I didn't even put it. This is like the 21st century. You need to wrap it. Yo, 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 we got some bourbon and booze. You don't know what you got because I don't know know how to wrap. Huh? So you got to auto tune it. Auto tune it? Yeah, you can do that. No. Can you do it in polka? (laughs) <laughs> no, no polka. Do chicken dance and stuff. Can you do that in bourbon and booze? Chicken dance. Bup, 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 bup. I don't even know. <laughs> bourbon and booze. Bourbon and booze. At least do not start. The bird is the word. Bird is the bird. Is bird is the word. Bourbon. And bourbon, booze, bourbon. 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 <laughs> bourbon. He says, "Don't start it." And then, what does he expect us to do? Start it. Mm-hmm. Who's been drinking all the tenure? It's almost gone. Jeez. Don't you know we got episodes to do? It's my precious. My precious. My oh, precious. Not mine. <sighs> Come on, everybody. <clears throat> Poop butt, go lay down. <laughs> oh my god, there's a big dingleberry on there. She's gonna, she's taking the camera with her. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. I think I'm gonna. Tippy, go lay down. You literally got stuck on the camera cord. Now we gotta wash the camera cord. No, we don't. I'm not rolling that up. <laughs> Cody has to watch it. <laughs> I ain't rolling that up. Where are you going? I need a chair. I need steal my chair. <clears throat> Who stole your chair? You two. Who said you can be comfortable? Andy I needs can. one of those higher chairs. What'd you do on your holiday last week? My holiday? St. Patty's Day. The holiday of leprechauns. I worked. Aww. I was looking for my pot of gold. I was like, who's watching your gold? <laughs> where is my pot of gold? I don't know where it's at. <laughs> Cable was watching my pot he's, of gold. He's ethnically And he didn't confused. even tell your mama where it was, did you? He's ethnically, culturally confused. He's a Scottishman that identifies as an Irishman. Is there actually, anything wrong with that? Actually, he's a white hillbilly from America that identifies as a Scottishman who identifies as an Irishman. And you got a problem with that? He <laughs> dresses up as a pirate. When he's actually a member of the little people. <laughs> Don't be racist. <laughs> Oompa Loompa you are Doopity a, doo. <laughs> you are I've got Oompa. another riddle for you. I think I'm going to have to edit your skin color orange when you start singing that song. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a Trumpian. Cheers! He's a king of Palumpa. <laughs> he's, he's, he's your lord and liege. Cut. <laughs> Crack myself up. That's not hard to do. Cheers. Welcome, welcome, everybody. How are you today? I'm good. So today's our hundredth episode. Mm-hmm. We're done. All right. See you, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And so we decided we were going to revisit the Bullet family. The very first. There are six bullets mm. that they produce. They produce two bourbons, one full, one empty. <laughs> two rise, one full. No, there's only four four bullets. Tell us about them. Well, this is the very first episode right here. That's why we're doing it, because Bullet was our first episode. Okay, so tell us about Bullet. It's 
been a long time since I keep I did doing this to him, don't I? <laughs> Every yes, time. You do. do you even give him the research? Well, I expect him to go research on his own. But his research is... <laughs> so Bullet is uh, a rather new um, distilled liquor from the 90s, I think. Uh, yeah. Early that's... 90s. And we did, we did the uh, Bullet uh, and the Rye, the Bullet Bourbon and the Rye. A while back so bullet bourbon which is our very first episode and the very first time we tried the rating system it's um from the bullet distillery the stitzel uh weller distillery in kentucky you can go back and watch the um original episode it's mm-hmm. it's got quite a lot of um awards and stuff it's it's a good it it is it's uh I'm going to grab two more glasses. I'm going to put my fingers in yours. Grab one. Um, yeah, it's it's won quite a few awards. And what they have is they have the Bullet um, Bourbon, the Rye, and then out of the Bullet Bourbon, they also have what's called the Tenure and um, the, uh, the Cast bar- Strength or Barrel Strength. I think it's, they call it Barrel Strength in this one. Yep. Is that kind of like the Devil's Cut? No, what it is is when... Um, they distill their liquor, it's at a high proof, and they put it in the barrel and they age it or whatever. And these, I think, are uh, about six years, the bourbon and the rye. And then, of course, the 10 is a 10. Um, the cask is, or the barrel strength is So that's what uh, it comes years. out of the barrel at, and then they go. Yeah, they, normally what they do, like with this one, they're going to um, take it out of the barrel, and they're going to cut it to the percent they want. And in this <laughs> case, they cut it to 45 proof, or 45%, so 90 proof. Um, so they can get more alcohol for sale by cutting it with water, you know, watering it down. And I think where it's also a legal thing out. where a lot of places, no. they can't sell. No, fire. it's all about, well, I say no as not somebody of authority, but um, 90% of the time, and I make that up too, but most of the time they do it just to have more product because you know with the barrel strength they're getting 250 bottles out of a barrel um but if you cut it down now you can get like 300 400 bottles yeah with one that may not have as much of a bite right because they're just cutting the proof down i mean it's just uh usually because i think the minimum uh proof you have to have to be considered a bourbon is 80 and so that's why most people cut it to 80 so they can expand. And then when you get to the craft distilleries, like the Eleanor back there or the Martin Greer, you're looking at 100, 115 or more because they don't want to, they don't, they're not, they're not necessarily out there to bulk sell it and make money. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. I mean, they want to make money. But it money. seems to me, and I, I could be mistaken, but back earlier in the whiskey times it was like you couldn't a lot of places you couldn't sell a more potent whiskey because of local laws because of blue laws so they just so they just made everything like at the minimum to sell could be and i i've i pretty sure i've read that before but did you read that or did siri tell you (laughs) siri's told me (laughs) So what we decided to do is um, we're going to try the bottle we tried a year ago. We still have some left. Actually, not even sure this is the original bottle, is it? Did we not buy another one? No, that's the original. That's the original. So we have a little bit more. And then we're going to try it versus a brand new bottle that we just bought and just see if there's a difference of an age of the bottle and, you know, the... <clears throat> evaporation and stuff like and that. And we did have a cork failure on this On one. both this and the rye. As you can see, we've had to replace the corks. So um, it might be just something with bullet. I don't know. So why don't you pour well, that? Well, these are synthetic corks and these are natural corks, so. Yeah. So why don't you pour um, two glasses of that. Notice I said glasses, not chug it. Pour it right in my gullet. That's enough, that's enough. Well. <laughs> Turn okay. on your jap throat, come on. Okay. 
So this is the new bottle, that's the old bottle. You wanna try the new one first or the old one first? The old one first. The old one first. This is the old one? This is the old one. Now we rated this really high. It was our it's first episode. Four and a half. Four and a half. And it still smells pretty good. Yeah. It smells like a good bourbon. It smells oaky. And we're learned a lot and stuff since we started. <laughs> learned a ton. In fact, uh, even today I was at a bar and I was took a an uncommon uh, pour and rated it and then came home and did research on it and I, I pretty much almost nailed it of what the what nose is, say. what they say it is and I was like super surprised. So we're not re-rating this. So I, I guess in the path to sommelier, since we're doing the horse, but sommelier, I'm at an S and O now. <laughs> He's trying to think of what's going on. <laughs> All right, good. It smells good. It smells like a good bourbon and it was a good one to start with. But I do get a, an alcohol. Mm-hmm. And it's got a smooth flavor to it. A slight lingering. You can taste the vanilla and uh, oak. Oak, yeah. And, and it's some, very smooth. Some sweetness there, probably a citrus. And this is, it's been in, on the bar for a year, mm -hmm. so. So versus old versus new. Oh, wow. The new is oh. not, yeah, is aromatic. The old is a lot more mellow and. Okay, so there is definitely a flavor or an aromatic difference, right? This is more pungent. The aroma is a new? lot. The old. The aroma is a lot stronger to me. And with the new bottle we just opened I don't get the alcohol sting at all it's more mild yeah that's weird you would think the open bottle would have aerated out yeah more slowly and... as each time we open it it aerate out and the the flavors would mellow yeah the old oh. has a more alcoholy okay let's try the new Ooh, a much more silky vanilla flavor, but. Hi. Wow. A dog just came and was excited. What would our episodes be without dog interruptions? <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. That's perfect, actually. <laughs> Cable, you want some booze? So I find the old one much more stingful, if you will, alcohol. Tastes good, smells good, but I can get that alcohol bite or the alcohol sense when I smell it. But it's a smoother taste versus the new one that you don't get that sting, but it's it's a smooth taste, but it's got a, a higher... It's a little sharper and it seems a little... Bit it's got a finishing bite to it. To it, yeah. Where the older one is kind of s smooth all the way around. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It is interesting. Very interesting. I do realize that we're doing four bourbons tonight and two of them are doing two shots. And then we're gonna do four episodes after this one, so. Mm -hmm. It's a good day. I've been gone for a few weeks, you know, cause we went to Europe and collected a whole bunch of new stuff. Can't wait to show you. So I probably should do eight episodes. Okay. Nurses on hand, so. We need a bucket <laughs> and a wheelbarrow. We have a comment almost every episode that says that we're drunk before we start because we have so much fun. And I keep telling that person we're not drunk. Hmm. There is a subtle difference. Yeah. So now we've created a dilemma. 
because this has been opened for over a year. Even though this is the 100th episode, we started that in January of last year. Now I want to see what this is. Now, <laughs> now we can't touch this anymore. No. And we can't finish this. So we can. So next to our 200th episode, we can try another, or at least another year, we can try and see the progression. <laughs> I'm up for that. Except for Cody wanted to take one of these home, so that's fine. He did buy the new rye and new bourbon. Now I'm curious. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I think we're. It's not a huge. Are we gonna do that with all of them? No. Not a, it's not a huge <laughs> difference. Oh no, not a huge difference, but it's subtle. So the cost is twenty one ninety nine. So let's go ahead and rate this what? again. What? That's twenty one ninety nine. Twenty one ninety nine at our total ones and more. Now we shop at a different place. And Cody overpaid. It's a lot closer. And um, today we were discussing how, where before they were cheaper, and now they're not. They so how much did you buy this new bottle for? Twenty six dollars. Twenty six ninety nine a piece. Five dollars more. Okay. So twenty one ninety nine. The aroma I'm going to put down as a three for this new one. Because it's not as aromatic, it doesn't have the sting, but you can't discern all the sweetness that you could with the old bottle. Yeah, I think the old bottles. <laughs> I'm gonna put the flavor as a three, and I'm gonna put the bite. I'm gonna put the bite as a three. I just, it's got that lingering uh, finish to it. I think I'm gonna just not do the whole thing. I'm just gonna re. We did the original as a four and a half. Yeah. I would. I would still give it a four. I think. I don't know. I'd give it a three to three and a half. <laughs> I give it a eighteen. I can give it a six barrels because I can see <laughs> six barrels. Okay, so that's our bourbon. I'm gonna put these down out of the way. Are these gonna be out of the way? Yep. And that leaves us to our, um, oh, so if we re-rate this, what are we gonna do it? I'm gonna give it a, a three across the board. You said you're gonna do a four. I'll say three and a half. Three and a half. So what do you think? Oh, no, I'll say a four, so let's give it a... Last night, and I... 3.5 total. Yeah, I'll give it a 3.5. Three point five. Okay. Um, it is 68% corn, 28% rye, and the all-important 4% barley. So now we want to look at the rye, and I was going to bring water here to kind of rinse these out so I don't get the crossover palette change can I help you here you go oh. I didn't drink out of it well that one <laughs> he's just gonna swirl it in there swirl it in there and put it in that cup down there I'm gonna get a palate cleanser I'm gonna get a palate cleanser. <laughs> okay, so now we're looking at the rye. It's got a little bit. And of originally in we had rated the rye a three. That was an episode about four months ago, maybe five months ago. So once you pour the old versus the new, I'll get the two news here. Yeah, that one's mine. I just, this is highly scientific. <laughs> exactly what I said. Very scientific. <laughs> Whew. And 
ain't feeling it. Is this a new episode? Cheers! Oh no. <laughs> Here's the rye. This is the old rye, which is about six months old now. Mm, much this mellower. It's good. You can smell the rye on this one. First is the, the newest bottle. Again, more mellow. The new one? The new one is more mellow to me. Did you try this one, Cody, last night? I think so, but... Um, yeah, just a hair. It's not really nah. that noticeable. Mm -hmm. Flavor. Smooth. It's 90 proof. You're not getting that proof bite. Again, $21.99. Six a year. Versus... I'm a little bit worried here. I don't know, you're in the camera bag and huffing and puffing, so what's not in the camera? No, I was <laughs> huffing at the price. Oh. No, well, there's no card. The new one is a little more bolder, not as smooth got, as... Yeah, it's got a, a bolder flavor. The finish is... That's about the same finish. Can still f taste the vanilla, the char of the barrel. A little bit of toffee to me, but definitely the rye. You can taste that rye. The older one's not quite as sharp as the new one. Whew. We rated this originally a three and I'd probably stay with it. Yeah. Has that one changed? No, not not much at all. It did have more in it for its six months life. Yeah. Like it never really got past halfway until kind of recently. Whereas the bullet bourbon has been at that level for because we kind of stopped while. drinking it because it got so low. But yeah, you know, the rye is just slightly different. But very notice or negligible. Yeah. I, I feel like I'm you... at a party going to everybody's glass and drinking that. <laughs> Ew. That's just gross. So we definitely want a palate cleanser after this. Because we're gonna very try clean the clean smelling. The ten year. And this one we're actually gonna rate. We're going to rate both of these. Yep. And I forgot my rating card. It's in my book. Yeah, middle. This one doesn't have legs at all on it. Is it not there? What? Uh-oh. Where's the writing cards at, Cody? That was really smooth. No it's bite smooth. to it. There's no leg, so at all. <laughs> no leg. Oh, that's water. It smells like, it almost smells like and water. It's gross. <laughs> we do have glasses back there, but. When we have eight episodes going on today. Now, neither one of us has tried the 10 year. This is one that um, Alex, somebody has tried it. This is one that Alex got for Christmas in the great Christmas exchange of 2019, which far exceeded the Christmas exchange of 2018. No, didn't you buy that yourself? You bought this yourself? <gasps> what? And it took this long for you to bring it here? She has told you about it for a long time, though. <laughs> so that means you're holding out on the great Christmas exchange stuff. <laughs> so bullet bourbon, uh, tenure. It's a little higher proof, 91.2 at 36.99. You okay with that price? I didn't buy that one. 
Ooh. <laughs> it it had some pop carbonated. To it. She's been uh, drinking it and putting Coke in there to. Putting that sweet tea in there. <laughs> That's an old this trick. This is 68% corn, 28% rye, and 4% barley. So it's the same as the bourbon. It's just aged, aged longer. The um, rye was actually um, a pretty hefty chunk. It's 95% rye and 5% barley. Aged 10 years. So at 30... Six ninety nine. It's gonna be. What are you doing? A I'm two looking barrel. at the color. It's about the same color. Yeah, there's not a big. So the difference is the bourbon is um, aged six years, and the ten year is aged um, four more years longer. The bourbon actually could be aged six to eight years, so the ten year is not that much more. So I don't know how much more color it get, and it's still cut the same. I mean, that was cut down to 90 proof. This is cut down to 91.2. Aroma. It does. Hmm. It's got a little more. I think it's about it's the richness same. richness to it. I don't, I don't know. It's like, I'm not going to go back and... I must say it's mild. One. You don't get the alcohol intake, um, but you can smell the you smell that barrel. You can smell the kind of the caramely vanilla, but I don't discern that big a difference from the regular bourbon. So I'm going to put this as a three for aroma. Oops. What say you? I'm gonna go with three and a half. Three and a half. Now Cody's not participating. He'll participate afterwards because it'd just be exchanging too many glasses. But he can try it anytime because the tenure is staying here now. Once at the house, always at the house. <laughs> That's the way it works. This, 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 everything stays here. Flavor. And Cody and I are building a high-speed rail system up to the house so we can come up. <laughs> He's just going to do plumbing up to the house and put all these on the air chute system like bank town. Mm -hmm. So you just put it in the slot and it goes... It's got a smooth start. Just kind of a mid-bite to it, but nothing on the finish. It's actually a lot more mellower of a flavor. Yeah. It's, than the bourbon. It's got a more rich flavor to it, I think. it's. I, not much. I'm going to put it at three and a half for the flavor. And I'm going to put it at a three and a half on the... Nah, I'm going to put it at a four on the bite. I don't... For 91, there's not a lot of bite to this. Yeah, I was going to do three and a half and four, too. Did you copy? Four two. Twelve and a half. You're at thirteen, so it's a three barrel. Hmm. You still have some in your class. Hmm? I'm enjoying it. <laughs> okay, so the question is which at $21.99, would you rather buy the bourbon or pay the extra 15 bucks to $36.99 for the 10 year? Hmm. I would stay with the bourbon. I would just go with that $21.99 bottle. I would have the 10 year. I think on if my I would buy this, but I wouldn't be drinking it. If I could make it last like a year, like we last made the. The only bullet. reason that the bullet bourbons lasted so long is because look behind we us. We started buying We have so shelves much. for miles. You don't get the whole picture. Because if we would have just did this, of the picture. <laughs> this would have lasted like 
three weeks if we wouldn't have started this channel. What's my wife always say? Buy one, drink one? <laughs> Buy one, drink one. No, I, I'd say definitely buy this, but it wouldn't be your every day. No. If I was at the store and I was like, oh, I think I want a bullet, I'd go with the bourbon. The straight bourbon. But if it's like your your birthday and you're buying yourself a treat or something, I'd probably buy mm. a single one. Yeah, I was going to say, if it's my birthday and I buy myself a treat, it's not buy a bourbon. It's probably a scotch. Yeah. But no, it's good. I like it. Okay. So let's move on for our 100th episode to our barrel strength, which this could very well be the most highest proof that we've ever tried on the show. The Arctic Velvet's 100 proof, the Martin Greer's 100 proof, the Andalusian's 100 proof, the... That's probably it, right? Any more 100 proofs? We have more that we just haven't done on the show yet, like the Eleanor's 115. I think, uh... No, that might be it. A couple of the Alaskans that we haven't done, I think, are at 100 proof. Um, but... This is gonna be the highest proof. And actually this is the highest proof that we have on the bar at 125 proof. So what a barrel strength or a cast strength is, um, the pre-cut. This is straight out of the barrel. It's not even open. It's straight out of the barrel. It hasn't been cut down for... Um, <laughs> no, no, you have to recreate the original fiasco when you try to uncork it. What do you do? Did you first... all have so much trouble uncorking the bullet? Was that a different episode? I don't know. I think I might have been. A... So, this is pre-cut. So this is the same stuff that's in the bullet. The regular bourbon. It's not the 10 year. It's so... aged between five and eight years. It's the same stuff as in the bullet. Uh, the regular. It's just not been cut and it looks down like to 80 a lot, or 90. It's a lot darker, it seems like. Well, yes, yeah, because this has a lot more water in it. <laughs> I mean, not a lot darker, but it is darker. It's it's noticeably darker. Yeah, it's noticeably yeah. darker. This is forty-seven ninety-nine, so it's a one barrel. Not the most expensive we have on the shelf. But for 50 bucks. Because it seems like the bourbons are like, not really totally expensive. It's when you get into scotches and stuff like that. Or if you get into craft bourbons. Yeah. Because the unsung price for craft bourbons is $50. Everything's $50. Unless you get to a small town a type of distiller that doesn't really they're doing it as a hobby, like Martin Greer. Mm -hmm. Martin Greer does it as a hobby, as a as a personal thing. He's not really into the mass production stuff, so his prices are really good for that hundred proof product. Yeah. But when you get into the craft distillers that are trying to um, send it out, I think they make a lot money. Of that it's is they're trying bucks. to recoup their startup costs because a lot of these craft breweries are startups and. Yes and no, because to start up, they're they're sourcing most of their initial alcohol. For like the first five years. Yeah. And so for some of these that just pop up, that's sourced from... But I still think they're trying to recoup their startup costs because... Maybe. What would our 100th episode be if Cody wasn't eating? He just left the camera to go to the catered buffet... Oh, he's got to make noise, too. Which he's not mic so he probably didn't hear that. What the? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Aroma. Ooh. It's... Very aromatic. Can definitely smell the, the char, the barrel. It does got a An whiff of flavor. alcohol to it. Yeah. It's, it's 125 yeah. proof. I'm yeah. going to clean my sinuses out for a bit. 
If Cody had one, he'd be coughing already because he tends to snort it. He puts it right in his nose. He just. I'm going to put this aroma at 3.5. I think that it is a mild aroma. It's not quite light because there is that alcohol. Mm -hmm. It would be bordering on light, except for the sting. I don't think it could be 120 proof without some alcohol. Maybe. If you know the difference, send it to us and we can test it out. Yeah. It's got some heavy legs on it. What do you think? I'll give it a three and a three and a, uh, yeah, yeah. Three and like, a half. It's like, are you having a stroke there? Yeah. I gave it a three and a uh. <laughs> well, I already drank so much booze in this one episode. Yeah. Flavor. Wow. Mm. Mm. That is really good. It's got a great flavor to it. A really pleasant, it's nice, got a really rich, rich flavor. Can taste the vanilla yeah. and the dark fruit. And a little toffee. But the bite, it's got a bite to it. Yeah, it's got a upfront bite that keeps going and finishing into a lingering bite. Because I want to put this at a four for flavor. But it's a bit bitter. But I think I'm going to go ahead and give it a four for flavor. But I'm going to drop it to a two. It's not necessarily sharp, but I'm going to offset it with a two I'm on the bite. I'm going to go a four and a two and a half because the bite is not... The flavor and the bite combination kind of works, but it's like... You're definitely not drinking like a... Something that's okay. mild. It's just got a Either way, bite. you're at, at 11, I'm at a 10 and a half. It's still going to end up being a 3. It'll be a 2.75 to 2.85. It's a 3. Um, now, the, the, the decision you have to make, is it worth it at 50 bucks? I would definitely buy it. Oh, well, yeah. But would you continually buy it? I think so. I wouldn't drink it all the time. Wouldn't be my go. How would you drink it? Just. <laughs> I don't know why I asked that question anymore. Just out of a glass. I wouldn't put anything in it. I might. Maybe I might put. I, no, I don't even think I want to put an ice in it. Let's see if I can get that water drop in there. You stick your finger in this alcohol. Change it. Change the, the bite a little, but it's not much. I need to put a little more water in it. A stone would be good. But I, I wouldn't. Otherwise, maybe, this is how I drink it. Maybe you want ice, but it's good. I would probably limit myself to one. Just one draw or one pour at a, a sitting. Yeah, I don't think I could see myself drinking like. I don't think you could see after drinking for a while. No. All right, so we give... After dinner, though, like after a big heavy meal, this would be pretty good. So we downgraded the bullet from a 4.5 to a 3.5 from our initial year ago to today. So we did downgrade it, and, and we figured that was going to happen because after a year of learning to figure out flavors and tastes and aromas and everything, um, we figured that it would decline because we did rate it at a 4.5. That's pretty high. We kept the braai. And not to say that it's a bad. Oh, no, no. no it's good. It's... I think it, that a year ago, we just artificially had it too high. It was our first rating. The bullet rye, we kept at a three. Pretty much stayed the same. There's a slight difference between the, the six-month-old bottle versus the brand-new bottle. The 10-year we, we have as a three is the first time we tried it. Um, I personally wouldn't buy the 10-year. I would just go straight with the... 
honestly, the only reason I'd have the tenure is for guests mm -hmm. to say, hey, look, here's a tenure. But I got enough 15, 12, 15 uh, year scotch and a 23 year scotch now. I can't wait. Mm -hmm. The barrel strength, though, we give it a three, and I feel bad. I would Wait, that's all I buy deserves. this. I would put it on my shelf. It's, yeah. it's good. Not just for visitors, but for ourselves. I just... I'm almost tempted to give it a half barrel bonus rating, bonus. but I'm not. And this is one that... Maybe I would not... Like I said, on the buy it for my birthday. wouldn't maybe buy it for myself on my birthday, but I'd ask somebody else to buy it for me for my birthday. Cody. Mooch. Birthday. Yeah. Uh -huh. Remember, my birthday's coming up and the Jura is kind of low, so. Oh, yeah, his birthday's like in two weeks. What's the whiskey of the month? Yeah. <laughs> Let's restart up an old tradition. We did watch a video the other day about a Pappy 23. There you go. Yeah, it ain't happening. Not on my salary. He's going to buy a bottle of. Everclear and put some spirals in it and write on there, Pappy 23. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be 23. Even though I have a 23 year old uh, whiskey I just bought, he ain't getting it. I think it's perfect. But we might pop this. it open on your birthday. But you ain't getting it. I don't even get When it. I say we'll pop it open, I meant I'll drink some to toast you. <laughs> I'll have some. All right, so. Tell you how good it is. It's been a great year. I've enjoyed these hundred episodes. We uh, took a while to get to some non-bourbon whiskeys, scotches, but we start doing more and more. Uh, we probably have more bourbons waiting to be done, or more alcohol waiting to be done than we have behind us. Um, our stockpile is growing more and more. Well, and when more. you just got back from a, I just got back trip. from the Soviet Eastern Bloc countries. Yeah, I just got back from Hungary, Czechoslovakia, Slovakia, Austria, and came back with quite a few. I know my wife's correcting me for some reason. No. Was your taxi came back with quite a few. Ivan? No. Came back with quite a few uh, Central European whiskeys. I think that's all we came back. Well, and some weird, some slight, slight, I don't know. It's a botanical. We'll try it. I think the 23, or that <laughs> barrel strength is getting to me. So we got plenty ahead of us. Um, your support really matters to us. Make sure you hit and like and subscribe. We do have a Instagram now. I started that and it's um, becoming really popular. Every day, more and more people are joining it, so you can do that. Um, of course, Andy's favorite thing to say. The Twitters. Check out the Twitters. Our merchandise, um, remember, let us know of anything you want to try in the next 100 episodes. And yeah, it's been fun. All right, here's to the next 100 episodes. Next 100 episodes. And we love it. Remember, there's no... We didn't have anything left. Oh, remember, there's no bad whiskey. There's only good whiskey and great whiskey. Um, most of these are good whiskeys. I would almost put the barrel strike towards great whiskey. I like the barrel strength. I do too. I'm glad I'm the one that bought it. Cheers. Laters. I'm oh having, man. I'm having what? some more. Lynn's cat. <laughs> He's been waiting all episode to say something funny. Yeah. What? Are you really getting more? We just had six draws. And I got a pretty good buzz going on right now. <laughs> And you just ate. And we have seven more episodes to do tonight. They're going to be hilarious. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, you're not sleeping on my couch. No, I'm going to ride Maggie home. <laughs> my leg.